five, four, three, two. Hey, this is the Run Life Live Christ podcast with Rashawn Guillory. You know, I know I got Jefferson on my name, but we bug, we going through something. We going to get rid of that, go back to Guillory. But I know that's TMI, but this is my show and I can say what I want. Because like Tabitha Brown, that's my business. So we're going to get right into it. I just want to thank you guys for coming on. We're going to do a prayer right quick and jump right into the subject. Lord God, I just want to thank you for letting us come here today to be a part of this podcast. This is number one, episode number one. Thank you, God, for the vision and really kicking my butt and getting me in gear so that people could hear something amazing from Christ about running life and living Christ all up in their lives. Lord God, thank you for your power and your might. Give me all the words to say to speak to your followers and to help us do what you want us to do in our lives. Truly admonishing your will, Lord God. I bless your holy name for who you are. Thank you for enlightening us, being within us, with us. Keep us every day. In your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So hello and thanks for getting into the Run Life Live Christ podcast where we talk about things from fitness to lifestyle to spiritual things. I mean, we go all over the board where we could just really run our lives and keep things in order and then put Christ in it to make sure we have a really true, great, awesome direction in which we should go. I'm your host, creator Rashawn Guillory. And one of the topics, oh, and I want you to like, subscribe, share this YouTube, Facebook, wherever this may be, um, go ahead and click subscribe so you can be in tune with any notification that may ping when I get on here and want to say something amazing or when God wants to speak to you. Make sure you share and follow Run Life. We love you. We want to keep talking to you. We want to stay in your life, baby, and enlighten you and make you go, okay? Again, thank you for tuning in. So some of the news that is happening today is, you know, we're coming out of this pandemic. Everything's opening it up. Somehow, you know, people, I don't know, people working and not working. So many people are flooding to get their CLD and to be driving trucks to make sure like everything's getting supplied. So people are going back to work. I'm super happy that um, people are just out there living life, doing the best they can. Um, recovering from so many things, so many families and bishops and just people in general have lost their lives. And we are out here just raking up the leaves and trying to start afresh. And I just want to say I'm so proud of you. If you're one of those people that have been through something. I mean, the pandemic hit all of us hard. No matter what, somebody got touched, okay? Somebody lost something, somebody um, lost somebody, lost a business, lost their mind, honey, look, lost Jesus and had to go recover him, okay? Um, don't worry about it. You're here today. You're here today. So let's take a deep breath. In and out. Do it with me one more time. In and out. You hear that? You got life and you're blessed. So just thank God right now for that. Just having breath and being here in this moment. Okay. It's okay if you ain't fully recovered. I'm going through my own mess. Look, honey. Look, honey. It's hard. And I know that's why we up in this thing trying to get some guidance. Okay. So, you know, do what you got to do today um, to get where you need to be. Hey, live it a day at a time. Some of the topics are one of the topics I really want to speak on today was you know you know me I love health run life live Christ we run in our lives but we got to put Christ in it too how are we doing that in this topic well the topic is God's food God's food have you ever heard of the term no yes raise your hand 
for yes, put it down though. <laughs> God's food. I think for um, a lot of the things that I was doing in fitness, especially with reaching people, um, one of the questions is like, how do I eat? Like, am I supposed to go keto? Am I supposed to like no carb, high carb? Am I supposed to not eat protein, lots of protein, like protein crazy? Or like, like people are just so confused about what they should be consuming. And you know what? I make it relatively easy. Eat God's food. Now, what I mean by God's food is that it's God created. Okay, so the basis of God food for me is anything that comes out of the earth. Obviously, God has set up a system in which we can take seeds, put them in the ground and they reproduce something and then they give you a seed back so you could keep producing the same thing to keep having nutrients and a constant supply of things to put in your body. So you have energy so you can move around so you can be alive, right? <laughs> you got to eat food to stay alive, baby. So I like to eat God's food. Um, one, I, I'll just give, a, I'll rally off just a few, a, kind of a list of what God's food it to me is to me. And, um, we'll just go from there. Mushrooms, zucchini, um, lettuce, tomatoes, onions. I love onions. Y'all don't get on me. And if I eat onions, I got some gum. So don't, don't even come for me <laughs> with the onions. I love onions. Um, not so much. With the animals. I know. Look, see, I knew you was going to come for me. I knew you was going to come for me. Not so much with the animals, because I think we live in a different life to where we don't even really need to eat animals or energy because we have so much over abundance of literally God food that is tailor made for our bodies. OK, so what I like to do is eat. God like food, anything that comes out of the ground. But for my own liking, I do add chicken sometimes. I try not to go overboard on the carbs in cereal. I'm not a fan of cereal. I'm so sorry. I know I'm ruining lives right now with my choice of diet. But God's food, I try to eat anything that is literally made from the creator that has a system to produce. Give me a seed and I can put it back in the ground. Yes, like I said, every now and then I have uh, some chicken. I have some beef. I will go to the taco shop. We live in San Diego. We're like 15 minutes from the border. Um, Mexican food is a thing and it's so good. But I like Mexican food with extra pico de gallo. Pico de gallo is like the salsa, you know, the cilantro, the tomatoes and the onions. I get extra that because I'll be feeling real guilty because I am even at the taco shop getting fried things. But if you're going to fry those things, right, just put some vegetables on it and we'll work it out. Right. So God's food. What is God's food? Anything that literally comes out of the ground that you can reproduce. You got to think, why do we even need it? I mean, he put you on this earth and it grows things for you that, you know, are good for you. There's so many, um, you can look this up. This is so easy. You know, you have the internet. Google is your mother. Okay. What's that? What's the dude's name? Uh, oh, I forgot. Gary V. Google is your mother. It's going to tell you everything. It has infinite wisdom. You just type it in. You can look at every single vegetable that you like to eat and then compare it to the different vitamins and minerals you actually need in your body to survive. So many people are low on iron and vitamin D and things like that. It's so easy to look up some of your favorite foods and make sure if you care about yourself, you get every single mineral and vitamin you need to actually survive. Do we do this? No, because there's so many things out there to learn. Yes, it's you taking your kids to school. You got to comb hair. You got to study for tests at work and reviews and Look, listen, you got to take people out to dinner. You trying to go out here and have a whole relationship, a whole boo. I get it. You're like, girl, I ain't got time to be looking up minerals and vitamins and stuff on my body. I'm going to just eat and pray that whatever I need enter in my body. Lord, thank you, Jesus. And that it just happened for me. But if you really care about your well-being and you're into fitness, that's why you're here, because we're talking about running our life with Christ in mind. Christ gave us this food or not Christ. God. 
Okay, sorry, that's maybe a dog next door. But God has tailored food for you on this planet for you to eat. Um, when you do get time, I'm going to give you some homework, okay? I'm going to give you some homework. Um, when you do get time, make sure you just research yourself on vitamin A, vitamin K, vitamin D, vitamin B12. What do all these vitamins do in my body and why do I need them? Um, I know it's people give you homework all the time, but this is you homework, okay? I care about you. We're here for you, not for me. This is information for you and how you could get to know exactly what you need in your body and why you, you should even eat God's food, okay? So a lot of the controversy I get when I start talking about that God's food is, well, when I go to the grocery store, uh, you know, those healthy things are so much more expensive than the regular things I get at the store. That is not true, okay? So let's think about a meal we can make completely with God's food. This is off the dome, okay? One of the things I absolutely love is mushrooms. Oh, God. Mm, hallelujah for the mushroom, God. We thank you, Jesus. I love mushrooms. I could get some mushrooms and some onions. Bye bow. And we got a side right there. Saute mushrooms with some garlic, salt, and pepper. Okay, maybe. Mm hmm. No, we're going to leave it there because I don't want to get too interesting because I like experimenting with food. You got your garlic, your onions, and let's say your your uh, mushrooms. Bang, that's a whole side right there. All right, come on around. Uh, Get you some greens on that plate. Asparagus. I love asparagus. You don't like asparagus? Zucchini. Zucchini and squash. Get that. You can saute that up. Uh-uh-uh. Both are kind of the same consistency, but it's all good. And if you want to get your side of protein, like you're throwing just a little meat, steak. You could have a few slices of that steak. Bang, whole meal right there. If you want to get real crazy with it, get you a potato to put with your onions and your mushrooms and your garlic. You got you a mashed potato that's loaded up, looking good, glistening, looking fabulous asparagus and your few slices of protein meal baby meal i go small on the portions with meat because it takes your body a little bit more time to actually process the meat in your body you gotta you know work it work it work it work it down work it down with the acids and stuff and your stomach's like hey why is this meat so tough i don't have teeth in here so it has to stay and digest a little bit more but you got your protein because, you know, everybody can't just go straight vegan vegetarian meal. Now, a straight vegan vegetarian meal. Look, I will get the big size of salads, like the big, the big old family size. Like we feeding four people with this salad or like two heads of lettuce, a big old cucumber, get two carrots, chop it up. I mean, big chop, throw it in a bowl, baby, like a. A cake batter mixing bowl. <laughs> Drop that goddamn uh vinegar, salt and pepper, oil, water. And you you season you, you you could do salt and pepper and and garlic salt if you want to. If you're going to back up all the salt, you could do no seasoning salt. Just got the herbs and stuff, no salt in it. And I eat that whole salad like big old shovel scoop sitting in front of the TV like it's a bowl of ice cream. I eat salad like that. And when you think about me, I'll be so full. I'll be full. Like, yep, I can go to bed. And what's so awesome about that, one, it takes like three minutes to make. Well, if you're prepping and cutting stuff, it might take a little more. But if you have it all together in a bag, it takes three minutes to make. You throw it all in a bowl. You don't got to cook it. And you go straight to go eat it. So it's no cooking time when you eat God's food because most of the stuff you can eat raw, like tomatoes i mean not well yeah tomatoes not potatoes you should you know run them through a bowl because you wouldn't be no <laughs> just chewing on raw tomato i mean potato oh that's so gross but most of the stuff that god provides you could pick it up and eat it who wants to cook i don't but i know our palates 
like to taste different textures and consistencies. So I get how that could be a thing too. But low cook time, low cost. How much is a head of lettuce? 60 cents. How much is a cucumber? It'd be like three, four dollar. How much is a tomato? I don't know, 10 cents, 20 cents, like for a big old huge salad that can last you forever, maybe two or three meals if you're just going to eat salad all day, which I don't mind. I would dig that. Um, And you could throw things in your salad like vegan cheese. I love me some vegan cheese. My friend Joe, he I don't know what vegan cheese he bought, but that vegan cheese is popping. I mean, I don't eat it all the time, but when he makes up with it, I'm like, ooh, that's good. I'm going to need that one more time. I'm going to get that name, actually. <laughs> but throw a little cheese on there, bean cheese, you know. And if you need your protein, chop up a little bit of chicken. Chop up a little bit of uh, steak. Throw some shrimp in there. Have a little piece of fish. Like, it's the protein to get you through and all those nutrients and all those wonderful God foods that the nutrients you don't cook down so they actually leave. You know, you're not charring the mess out of it. The juices stay in there. It's just so much more better for your body. And the way you digest it, you're going to digest it easy so your body's not like, hey, bro, why is this whole turkey in my stomach? Why do we got to set a flame with our stomach juices to this turkey in my stomach? Hello, you know, we got to work overtime. We got to work overtime. So when we talk about God's food versus regular food, God's food, easy digestion, less cook time, packed with nutrients, no weight, great for your body. Versus regular food, you got to cook it. You got to brown it the right way. You got to season it. When you cook, this is funny. When you cook regular meat and with no seasoning, it don't taste good. I dare you. Just go put some meat on the grill. Go put some meat in the skillet. Don't season it and just eat it. Why do you season your food with vegetables for it to taste good? Oh, that just slapped y'all just now. You season (laughs) your food with vegetables so it can taste good. You season your meat with vegetables so it can taste good. So why are we eating meat when it doesn't taste good in the first place? Oh, look, I'm going to let y'all pray on that. I'm going to let y'all tarry. I'm going to let y'all sit down and just let your brain blow up over that one. (laughs) You are literally seasoning your meat with the vegetables so the meat could taste good i rest my case okay i rest my case all right so all these personal benefits of eating god's food hey it's god made everything he makes is good except olives okay sorry olive lovers i'm not a fan won't be a fan never will be a fan and that's okay because like tabitha brown that that is my business because i I can't do it (laughs) but the benefits are amazing So I hope you're super inspired to be able to try just a God food diet, things that grow out of the ground. Um, It's okay to have your side of protein. Just make your vegetables portions much more than your protein and then see how your digestion is. See how your intake of water is because you can be taking up more water you know, from just the natural things. Um, Get creative. You have the internet. Go look up a recipe. There's so many recipes with just raw food that can be good, that can be delicious. Like there's vegans and vegetarians out there having a ball mixing up their food and they don't have to sit there and, you know, just really screw up their digestion with meat that we really don't need. Go ahead and look up all the vitamins and minerals that you need for your body so you can just be aware of what you need to put in your your body. If you're not familiar with vitamin A, D, K, um, all of those things, vitamin C, um, look up those things just to be aware of what your body needs in it for you. Not for me, for you. This is all information for you. Um, I love you guys, and I'm, I'm so happy this is the first episode of, oh my God!
yes. And I just want to thank you so much for tuning in. And we're talking about God's view. Make sure you subscribe and share. Share this with anybody that just wants to be a little bit more enlightened on their body and what God has provided on this earth for you to consume so you can be great. All right. And I really just want you to run life and live Christ. I'll see you for the next episode. Bye. Run life.